We get this full screen. Game of the year, Baldur's Gate 3. That's fine. We're cool with that. No issues there. I, I, I voted for Baldur's Gate 3. I haven't played it yet. I know it's going to be game of the year. I just can't wait to play it. <laughs> As I say that, so one of my friends list just booted up Baldur's Gate 3. There you go. VR game of the year at Labyrinth. Haven't played it. Don't know. Labor of Love. Red Dead Redemption 2. F right off. The game that people are complaining the multiplayer has just not been given any attention by Rockstar. And you're given that Labor of Love award? What the hell? I voted for... Uh, for Deep Rock Galactic because those guys pump out you can like pay for DLC but if you don't get it in that season it becomes free the next season it, like their practices around DLC and money and monetization are really chill and they release new content for the game every like quarter really really chill labor of love 100% I don't know what the f*** they're thinking there best game on the deck Hogwarts Legacy excuse me Dredge was my vote. Dredge is, was f***ing great on the on the Steam Deck. I don't know how you can vote Hogwarts Legacy on it. Something that you'd have to, like, pull all of the settings back in order to, to run. It goes completely against the ethos of what the deck is about. The deck is really geared towards indie games. So, Brotato is one of the most played games on deck. You can tell this is voted for by people who don't have decks. You can't stack them on the five chips on one spot. Oh. Lethal Company. Uh, I voted for it. Correct. Um, <laughs> I, I hadn't heard of Sunken Land until I saw it come on the sale. Sons of the Forest. I didn't play co op. Dark Tide, you have to play co op, but it really didn't quite land. Party Animals. I never played, but I've seen enough about Lethal Company to know it's a banger, so there you go. Visual Style. Oh, yeah, Cocoon looked really cool. But Atomic Heart, I have no issues there. Most innovative gameplay, Starfield. F right off. <laughs> what the fuck? This is a f joke, right? Most innovative gameplay, Starfield. The game where the, the majority of it is a copy and paste of of the gameplay of Fallout. The space exploration is not as advanced as No Man's Sky. So tell me, where the f is the innov innovation there? Innovation is a euphemism, right? Right. This game also right now isn't it like it's it's been really poorly reviewed now. Yeah, its recent reviews are mostly negative. People don't like this game. Who were the other candidates? I'll show you who the right... Do you want to see who the right winner was? On there, I voted for the right winner. So you know it's right. Shadows of Doubt. This is who I nominated. I am so sad that they did not win. Because that is a truly, out of these games, innovative game. Remnant is a Souls-like with guns. We've seen those before. I don't know what oh, your only move is Hustle is. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, is this like that um, Korobashi? That's cool. Innovative, probably, yeah, a little bit. I, I can see that. It has been done before, but that's okay. Contraband, <sighs> not even. Starfield is a hodgepodge of our games. It's not innovative. That's just a joke. Shadows of Doubt, I can honestly say I've never played a game like Shadows of Doubt before. It is superb. I wanted to review it on the Steam Deck. I tried to play it on the Steam Deck the other day and it doesn't have the controls to make it playable. I would like to maybe do a video just on its own and just put aside the Steam Deck feels for a little bit. But uh, Shadows of Doubt is the correct answer here, in my opinion. I know I'm not right about everything, but the wrong answer on this category is Starfield. <laughs> that is a f joke. Best game you suck at? Uh, Sifu. Absolutely. Uh, Sifu is f***ing hard. Todd Howard. Bots, I need you! I, who's, who's, who's voting for this? I don't get it. The people who have played it dislike it. And the people who haven't played it, most of them are like as jaded as me, who just go, 
it, it's not what it was promised. The people who were making mods for it gave up because they said the game is so shit and the code is so bad that it's too much effort and they don't want to do it anymore. Like, I, I, what? Shadows of Doubt is the correct answer. If you haven't played Shadows of Doubt, um, if I did a top five games of the year, this would be in my top five. It is out of all the games I've played in the last year, I don't think I fought about a game as much as I fought about Shadows of Doubt. It is, it is that game. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger. It is that game. It is that game that like infects your brain. It's so, it's so, oh, it's just so good. I love it. Procedurally generated murder mystery. So it has elements of stuff that's been done before, but can you honestly say you've ever played a game where you have this like pin board to try and figure out a murder? It's really good. Oh, I, I gave away, I, I, I'm pretty sure I gave away the keys that I had for this. If I haven't, maybe I have to go pick them back out and, and give them away. But uh, also the guy, this is in early access. The guy is still releasing content. It's a solo developer. Um, I believe solo or small developer like anyway for them to even be nominated well fucking done but uh that this is a fucking joke this is an absolute joke this is this is actually offensive <laughs> to the other to the other nominations but this is voted for by people and people are fallible so there you go uh yes uh, once again games that you suck at I could have seen Street Fighter get in this one, but I think this is a category really built for Souls likes. And yeah, Lords of the Fallen or Sifu. Sifu is a great game. Uh, innovative gameplay, funnily enough, could have slid into that category. Best soundtrack. I haven't played it yet, but I want to pick up Hi Fi Rush. Um, Tekken 8 in three weeks, so I, so I saw her. That's pretty cool. Uh, if I was to play a fighting game, it'd probably be Tekken because I'd want to play as the fucking leopard man. <clears throat> um, <laughs> Last of Us Two came out in reality like ten years ago, didn't it? Or Last of Us Part One even. Thirty-two characters are starting roster. There's something that a lot of fighting games miss out on these days. Like uh, Injustice had like what, fifteen or something. That was the last fighting game I bought before I realized I'm terrible at fighting games, I just can't justify it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I picked Hi-Fi Rush because, uh, you know, actually embedded into the game, I should buy this game. Outstanding story. I So, okay. Jedi Survivor, generic story. Good game, enjoyed it, but generic story. Um, don't know what this is. Lies of P, uh, the story is grand. I wouldn't say it's like, super like super deep Resident Evil like is that a story rich game Baldur's Gate 3 is an interesting choice because it's kind of almost make your own story so but anyway like Baldur's Gate 3 probably deserves it and the vote is there from me sit back and relax Dave the Diver so at times Dave the Diver is a relaxing game but a lot of Dave the Diver is not relaxing I, I judge being attacked by sharks and having to uh, wait tables at a sushi restaurant as not very relaxing. But I do really like Dave the Diver and wanted it to win something. Um, this, this game single-handedly delayed production of stuff for the YouTube channel. I really, I really, really enjoy Dave the Diver. The cutscenes are great. Wait. Does it show cutscenes on its trailer? I think it does. Meet Dave, an interesting. He's all. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, the cutscenes are like surprisingly great. I I don't know. They kind of come out of nowhere. They're absolute bangers. <laughs> We can just go to this for a second. It's really good. I really like it. 
It's one of those games which has so much going on in it that I do want to make a video on it at some point, but there's so much there that and I'm seeing stuff in, in this video that I haven't reached yet, which is all new stuff to me and, and it just shows us so much more there. The dad game, Yazi. Yazi does call these sorts of games dad games. This, I, you know what? I think out of all of them, this one deserves that moniker most because uh, Dave the Diver himself uh, strikes me as a dad. <laughs> he's got that dad bod and he's got that dad uh, ethos and mentality. <laughs> what else was on the finalist for game of the year? Resi 4, so a remake, Hogwarts Legacy, which, okay, guys, I played Hogwarts Legacy because the hoo-ha around it, I get, right? I hate JK Rowling as much as the next person, but I, I don't see this as her thing, you know? Like, there are dozens of people who made this game. Now, was I going to promote it and push it and and recommend it and stuff? No. That's a whole other bag. But playing it myself and enjoying it personally uh, was enough for me. Having said that, did I enjoy Hogwarts Legacy? I found it boring as hell. <laughs> I don't think J.K. Rowling is a game programmer. Exactly. And like, I've been hating J.K. Rowling since before it was popular. Like... She, she single-handedly, not single-handedly, but she was the biggest donator to the, uh, to the anti-Scottish independence, uh, campaign. And at that point, I was like, fuck you. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, it's like, would you not watch the IT crowd because Graham Lineman is a, is a scumbag? It's like, no, the guys who are, um, uh, in that show... Who actually act in that show have haven't done anything deplorable like Graham Line Graham Lineman. It's not gonna stop me from watching Father Ted, you know what I mean? We have to separate the art from the artist, and this art had nothing to do with the artist. Having said that, once again, it is a very bare bones RPG. And when you get to the later areas, everything's so empty and boring. It's really yeah, it was really not worth the fuss. And some, I, and on the other side of it, I saw people after um, it came out on Twitter, like like recently going, oh, um, uh, oh, that uh, hoo-ha about the wizard game have really calmed down, huh? And all this sort of stuff. And I'm like, bro, it's a single player game. Every single player game has the same life cycle. It's not fucking Elden Ring, you know, like one single player game a year is going to have a life cycle which is like 9 to 12 months. Most of them are going to be the new hotness for like a few weeks and then die down. And that's what a Hogwarts Legacy was. And what was the finalist for VR game? Oh, I expect you to die is what I voted for. I haven't played it, but I know of it. <laughs> I'm really bad. I'm as bad as these people who voted for uh, Red Dead Redemption for Labor of Love. <laughs> But yeah, this is a. Some of these are great. Like some of these, some of these are deserving winners. Like, of course, Baldur's Gate. Um, of course, Lethal Company. Sifu, Baldur's Gate again. Dave, all good. Everything else is bad. So fifty percent, fifty percent hit rate. 